Alice. The same Alice you swore to love to all eternity, Ebenezer. She is not changed by the harshness of the world. But you are. Then you no longer love me. You no longer love me. When have I ever said that? In words, never. Well, in what then? In the way you have changed. But how have I changed towards you? By changing towards the world. But it, it, it is such a terrible thing for a man to struggle with something better than he is. Another idol has replaced me in your heart. A golden idol. It's singular. The world that can be so brutally cruel to the poor professes to condemn the pursuit of wealth in the same breath. You fear the world too much. <laughs> with reason. But I, 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 I am not changed towards you. Aren't you? Our promise is an old one. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. If you had never made that promise, tell me, would you seek me out and try to win me now? Of course I would. No. If you were free today, would you choose a darless girl with, with neither wealth nor social standing? You who now weigh everything by gain? It would bring you nothing but repentance and regret. That is why I released you. You know I'm right then. I must bow to your conviction that you are. May you be happy in the life you have chosen. Thank you. I shall be. Goodbye. Show me no more. But I told you, these were but shadows of the things that have been. That they are what they are, do not blame me. Take me away. Very well. But we have not done yet, Ebenezer Scrooge. We do but turn another page. <laughs>